Well, new charges are now uh, announced against a man accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend while she was pumping gasoline in King of Prussia. And court documents show that he's a history of domestic abuse and is on parole. So we want to bring in attorney Shaka Johnson joining us now. I mean, this is a horrible story that sounds like it could have been prevented. It could have been, I suppose. But, I mean, domestic violence scenarios, Alex, are always uh, the most tedious kind. They're, they're volatile. They're unpredictable. Um, as I understand the story, these two started off at least the evening at dinner. And that, you know, erupted into this. Well... He also had called her 93 times and texted her like, like hundreds of oh, times. Oh, sure, sure. So she kind of capitulated and said, all right, yeah, I She understand. wasn't answering at first. Let's right. go meet right. at Cheesecake Factory. Oh, sure, not to suggest this was a... a date. Uh, or uh, right, Valentine's yeah. Day dinner. Of course yeah. not, of course not. It's, it's, the, it's really a very sad story, very, mm -hmm. very tragic story. Um, the fact that she was pregnant only compounds things. I know. And, and, and they be believe he knew. That, that may have been the impetus for his fury and all those calls and all those text messages and the constant legal word harassment yeah. that he was bestowing on and her. And this is how it ends up. So they leave Cheesecake Factory, and it seemed like maybe she thought it was resolved. And she goes to pump gasoline. He followed her there and shot her. I, I got a different read on it, Mike. Okay. I, got, I got a different read. My read was she left him at Cheesecake. Like, this conversation is over. Um, and then he follows her. And for first-degree murder, right, for the charge of first-degree murder, the operative word is premeditation. So to the extent that he was riding around with the gun in the car so that he could leave Cheesecake, immediately follow her to a gas station, and then shoot her suggests, or at least could suggest, and I'm sure uh, District Attorney Kevin Steele will say this, suggests that he planned on killing her that evening if things did not go his way. Because, yeah, Interesting. because he waited and then followed her and he had it right there. And it was, and it was, and it was ready. It was there. Mm -hmm. I don't think he went and got it. I think the evidence will suggest, Kevin Steele will say, that he had it with him. And if things did not go as planned, he was going to kill her. And that's what he did. I can just say, you know, I understand what she was probably thinking after 93 phone calls, whatever, in, the, in, a, in that day. Sure. I'll go there. Maybe we can talk it out. But it's, oh, I don't know. Well, maybe talk him down, because obviously I think 93 phone calls and text messages suggest that he's being agitated, his uh, activities are escalating, so she probably thought she could talk him down Obviously, off that yeah. proverbial ledge. Well, what's interesting is he had a prior charge um, for doing something similar. It involved an ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. and there was an order, stay away order, right. and he violated it. Didn't he have to do anger management, and he completed that? He did, he did, wow. but clearly this, uh, what, whatever that gentleman has going on inside of him extends past what uh, a little sort Certificate, certification and anger management yeah. can do for Obviously, we all wish she never had gone had to gone meet there. him. Of course. And, then the, and then it makes <clears throat> you think, well, if she hadn't gone, with those 93 calls and texts, would this have just have happened another kind of way? At her house. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know. What can women do? I mean, you get a restraining order. I mean, well, sometimes that doesn't that doesn't work. You can get a restraining order that helps, um, but obviously, I think sometimes people are too afraid to get the system involved to give them the assistance that is available to them. Um, I don't know what this particular victim had done previously. I know Alex, we just talked about a previous girlfriend, mm -hmm. but I don't know what she done. The system has lots of tools at you know women, right. the, women and men. Let me be yeah. clear at people's disposal that they can use. And I think she had other, other children. Of course, yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. So those children They're are now you know home. motherless. Mm -hmm. Correct. Oh, my God. All right, Shaka, try to have a good weekend. I'm going to do my best. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. You as well.